The Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences has decided to award the 2016 Nobel Prize in Chemistry jointly to Jean-Pierre Sauvage, Sir James Fraser Stoddart, and Bernard L. Ferinja for the design and synthesis of molecular machines. Centre National de la Recherche Scientifique, CNRS, in Strasbourg. One way to make a physical connection is this, somewhat more ugly, but here we have two wings that move relative to one another, but they are freely joined. There is no chemical bond between them. To make this one is a piece of cake. You can buy it at the local supermarket. This one requires some very clever chemistry. And this year's laureates have developed new synthetic strategies to make molecules like this with good yields. So nowadays they have structures that can rotate very fast, up to 12,000 revs per second. They have ro motors that can rotate in either direction. Tension in the molecule, as you can see here. That doesn't, the molecule, and this particular uh, machine or, or uh, um, to give you the good news. But now I'm sitting in the session hall of the academy. Yeah, now first of all, let me say, I feel a little bit like the Wright brothers, eh? who were flying 100 years ago for the first time. And then people were saying, you know, why do we need a flying machine? And now we have a Boeing 747 and an Airbus. So that is a bit how I feel. But yes, the opportunities are great, because if you think what kind of materials we can make these days with the chem chemistry, and when you are able to introduce dynamic functions and build machines or build materials that can change function, there is endless opportunity. So we will build smart materials in the future. That is... Uh, uh, a big opportunity. Materials that will uh, reconfigure, that will change, that will adapt themselves, that will have uh, properties that can change because of the pick up the signal. You can think of nanoscale energy converters. So uh, make tiny machines that can store energy and can use that energy. Uh, and indeed, it opens up a whole new field of uh, nano machines. Thanks, Bart. multiple years, so, so there, there is a process that involves reports from, from external experts, and that can go on over a long time. So what the prize winners this year have achieved is to, in an entirely synthetic way, by designing on a piece of paper what they want to build, and then build it machine-like structures, so even entire motors that can rotate that are only at the size of a single molecule. So extremely small and uh, a breakthrough in the sense that nobody ever has made a machine this small before. And it's done by, on the one hand, um, developing an entirely new way of synthesizing molecules with a plan in mind, and at the same time a new principle how to couple energy input to motion and to control that. Every year, and there are the, the process take multiple years to evaluate where molecular motors exist in pretty much every single cell of your body and perform important tasks, like me moving my fingers. These are done by molecules that are a little bit small, a little bit larger than the ones that we heard about today, and they work slightly differently, but they power all of life. So this is something to compare to when you have your visions, where might this lead to? We are nowhere near being able to do this. We cannot synthesize life, and this is not the idea either, but in terms of the complexity, what can be achieved, that's something to compare to.